Ben McAdoo's tenure with the Giants has come to an end after nearly two years as head coach and two seasons as offensive coordinator prior to that. There were plenty of highs and lows along the way before it ultimately came crashing to an end after a Week 13 loss against the Raiders following the benching of two-time Super Bowl champion Eli Manning. Here's some of the highs and many, many lows of the McAdoo era highlights December 28, 2014 in McAdoo's first season as offensive coordinator, Giants finish with 13th offense in the league after finishing 28th the season before. Eli Manning has the best TDI and T ratio 3014 in his first 11 seasons. January 3, 2016 Giants finish 610 for second straight year but improve again offensively, becoming the sixth highest scoring offense in the league and Manning throwing a career-high 35 two-count passes. Mark 10 Elliott January 15, 2016 Giants formally announce Ben McAdoo as their new head coach. McAdoo arrives at press conference in oversized pinstriped suit. September 11, 2016 Giants win first game under McAdoo, defeating Cowboys on the road, 2019. January 1, 2017 Giants defeat Washington, 1910, to finish 115 and clinch an FC wildcard berth to return to playoffs for first time since 2011. Lowlights August 18, 2016 After kicker Josh Brown's one-game suspension from the NFL is discovered to be a result of a domestic violence situation, McAdoo voices support for Brown as a man, father and player. Howard Simmons New York Daily News January 2, 2017 Beckham and the Giants receivers spend off day on boat party in Miami six days before playoff game versus Green Bay. McAdoo defends players, citing it was their off day. January 9, 2017 Giants crushed by Packers, 3,813, in NFC Wild Card Round. Beckham punches hole outside visitors' locker room following loss. McAdoo says he does not condone punching holes in wall, takes blame for incident. September 24, 2017 Giants fall to Eagles, 2,724, on 61-yard field goal by Jake Elliott. Beckham celebrates two count by pretending to pee like dog. McAdoo dismisses questions about Beckham's maturity. We should be talking about the way he played, he said. October 8, 2017 Giants lose to 0 4 Chargers at home to fall to 0 5. Beckham, Brandon Marshall, and Dwayne Harris all go down with season ending injuries. Al Belagetti Images October 11, 2017 McAdoo announces Dominique Roger Scrum Marti is suspended after leaving team facility. McAdoo intended to bench Roger Scrum Marti in upcoming game due to separate incidents. October 31, 2017 Giants suspend Janoris Jenkins after he failed to communicate why he did not show up to team's first practice after bye week. McAdoo told reporters day before Jenkins was excused for personal reasons, which was ultimately false. November 5, 2017 Giants allow most points at home since 1964 and 5,117 loss to Rams and fall to 17. McAdoo is asked what he told team at halftime and replies um. November 8, 2017 Two anonymous Giants players rip McAdoo, say he has lost control of team, dishing out fines and is working them into ground. McAdoo says team has a run in us. Bill Kistrunep November 28, 2017 Giants announced Geno Smith will start over Eli Manning in next game versus Raiders, thus ending Manning's 210 consecutive games started streak. McAdoo told Manning he would start and Smith would play second half but Manning refused to support that plan. November 29, 2017 Mara says McAdoo probably could have presented plan better to Manning. December 1, 2017 McAdoo says he and ownership are all on the same page. December 4, 2017 Giants fire Ben McAdoo day after record. Drops to 210.